Yo, how's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So this is the new Nohu suit by Venturewit. It's a brand new design and it has several new features compared to the older suits that I'll be replacing. I've been in the market for a new suit now for quite some time and I'm pretty stoked to finally get my hands on the Nohu suit. With that said, we'll be taking a look at the new features of the new suit and kind of compare them to the older suits like the Omilu suit that I have. The Nohu suit will be replacing the previous five models by Venture Red suits because of the new design that they came out with. So here in Hawaii, the Nohu is also referred to as the Titan Scorpion Fish. Nohus are pretty rare to find because unlike most fish, they don't swim about. They're usually just stationary one place and that's how they hunt. Nohus are typically orangish red in color and that's what inspired the new Nohu suit. So the deeper you dive, red and orange are typically the first colors to lose its color. Hence, that allows you to blend in the reef structure and the bottom a lot easier. The outer shell of this suit is what kind of sets it apart from the previous five suits. It comes with a scuff and abrasive outer shell and is not as stretchy as the previous suits. Simply by holding the suit, you can immediately tell the difference from the newer suits compared to the older suit. This one has a rough texture to it compared to say the Omilu suit. It was very smooth, silky feeling and very stretchy. Also, the loading pad on the Nohu suit is a lot larger and is located not necessarily on the chest but a lot lower so pretty much right on the upper abdomen. Also, the pockets on the legs of the suit now comes with little flush points on the pockets and that supposedly reduces the drag by letting the water flow through the pocket rather than just parachuting inside of the pocket. Also, they've added a third pocket onto the arm sleeve of the suit where you could store little throw flashers or bells or whistles. It comes in a wide variety of sizes ranging from small all the way up to 5X and you can get it in three different thicknesses 1.5 3.5 and 5 millimeter thicknesses i have already used this suit twice and honestly guys i really love the suit it is taking me some time to get used to how tight it feels like i know i'm gaining weight and all that but the first time i used this suit taking it off was took me a solid like five minutes and that's just for the top the jacket part that was pretty rough honestly now i remember when i first got the omilu suit like almost two years ago the first time i ever used it i actually felt hot i would open the hood part of my wetsuit just to let in cold water because it was so hot i'm not too sure if it's because i'm already used to to the material they use and whatnot but this suit does not give me that uncomfortable feeling by being too hot honestly i doubt i will be using that third pocket that's on the arm sleeve I could kind of do without it. I don't know. As I'm used to having my pockets on my legs. I don't even keep my knife on my forearms or anything. That's just my preference. Over the years, I've used a lot of different types of brands from Omer, Picasso, Hawaii Skin Diver, Sea Sports, just a lot of different types of suits. And this is the first time I'm going to be using two different suits from the same brand. I was in the market for a new suit. I had my Omilu suit for pretty much two years now and I have tears on the hood, um, holes in the sleeves, the cuff link on the leg is ripped and I'm pretty sure I made my money's worth on the suit. I've hiked in it, I fell in it, I dove, I got stabbed by my shaft several times and on top of that I can't dive longer than two or three hours without starting to get cold. So around November, December of last year I was super close on purchasing a Waihana suit. I almost decided to pick up the Goliath Grouper wetsuit from Waihana. Black and yellow are pretty much my favorite colors. So when I saw the Goliath Grouper wetsuit, I was like, oof, that's right up my alley, bro. But I'm really stoked I didn't jump the gun and bought the suit and waited for Venture Wetsuits to, to unveil their Nohu wetsuit. Honestly, I was super excited when they told me that they were coming out with a new design where it's scuff and abrasive resistant and won't tear as easily as the previous model suits. As I mentioned before, mine has a lot of tears, especially on the hood and the cuff 
areas of the suit. With that said, I am pretty eager to put the scuff and abrasive resistant outer shell to the test. I haven't gone on a boat dive in quite a long time. So we're usually hiking all the way out to the spot to dive, hiking through Keawe, going over lava rocks, and even sometimes trekking down cliffs. In the middle of all those hikes and journeys and all those awesome ventures, sometimes our suits get snagged on Keawe branches, sometimes we trip, fall, slide, and you know, just shit happens. So with that said, yes, I absolutely love the Nohu suit. It is a lot tighter than I expected it to be, but I think also that's just because I've been gaining weight late recently. And despite me only using this suit twice and me having it only a matter of like a couple weeks or something, I'm already eager to see what other designs he comes out with a suit. I know Venture Wetsu said on their IG that all the pre-orders has been shipped. They are still selling for their pre-order price at $249.99. So if you haven't already, go ahead and order your Nohu suit while it's still at its pre-order price. If you do order your suit, go ahead and use my discount code TUNELIFE. It'll save you 5% more off of that discounted price. Once again, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found this insightful, helpful, or just entertaining. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button. The next video will be a dive video. So go ahead and subscribe if you're not. Hit that notification bell so that when I do drop that video, you'll be the first to know. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Here's a clip from that video. Mm.